Mom sets up camera to see how her baby got scratched. Find something much more terrifying. A Michigan mom was determined to discover the cause of the strange things happening in her home. It started with her hearing strange noises in the middle of the night, but it just got worse from there. It got so bad that she began to blame her fiancé for the strange happenings, even though he denied it. Finally, she had proof. She had video evidence, but she had no idea what she'd just captured, and the truth would scare her. Heather Bow got ready to watch the video she'd recorded from the baby monitor in her daughter's room. Despite what other people said, she didn't believe that her daughter was scratching herself in her sleep. She hit play and began to watch, convinced that she would catch her boyfriend, Joshua, in the act. Her hair stood on end when she saw the figure in the video. Joshua had been telling the truth. It was something else. Heather Bow and Joshua Higgins were living in his mother's guest house with their one-year-old daughter, Lily, for just over a year already. Then something happened that made them want to get as far away from there as fast as they could. It all began when Heather noticed scratches on Lily's face when she lifted her up and out of her crib one day. At first, she didn't think too much of it. But when more marks appeared, she knew something was up. That's when she decided to approach Joshua. The couple were in a happy, stable relationship and lived a normal life for a young couple in the town of Highland. All their dreams were coming true. They had a great home, a beautiful baby girl, and they were madly in love. Then she started hearing strange noises at night. Creaking doors, thumps, footsteps in the kitchen, and suddenly the unexplained scratches on her daughter's face. That was the final straw. She asked Joshua if he was getting up in the night and moving around the house. She even asked him if he went to Lily's room. Did he know how she got the scratches? Joshua denied everything, and their relationship became strained and tense. It seemed that their fairy tale life was in danger of becoming a nightmare. Heather decided to try and catch Joshua in the act. What she discovered, however, would be much worse than she ever imagined. Heather knew that she needed to do something. Even though he denied it all, Heather couldn't carry on living like that. She was either going crazy or she was imagining it all. Maybe it wasn't Joshua. Maybe it was an animal. The problem with that idea was that Heather always made sure everything was closed up properly. That meant that whoever or whatever it was that scratched Lily must have already been in the house. Heather knew that her relationship was in danger. She and Joshua decided to buy a baby monitor and set it up so that they could watch Lily at night. They set up the camera so that it was focused on the crib. Joshua was sure that it was Lily as it wasn't uncommon for babies to scratch themselves with their nails while they slept. Heather knew this couldn't be the case because she made sure to keep Lily's nails properly trimmed. Neither of them were prepared for the truth. Heather bought a state-of-the-art camera with night vision capabilities so she could monitor Lily while she slept. She was determined to get to the bottom of this and find the truth. She set the camera to record and went to sleep. Sure enough, the next morning there were more scratches on Lily's face. Heather immediately went to watch the footage, knowing she would be able to see the culprit on the video. She hit play and watched her own home become a place of nightmares. Heather saw the figure appearing in Lily's room. She was convinced that it was proof that it was Joshua who was walking around at night. But why would he keep lying about it? Could he have been sleepwalking? Then Heather's blood turned ice cold as she kept watching. Heather saw the blurry image of the man walk past the crib. In the video, Lily immediately looked at him and stood up against the side of her crib. Lily's curious about the man in the room. At that moment, the man turned to face the camera and Heather feels herself turn cold. The man in the footage isn't Joshua. Heather couldn't breathe, her hair stood on end, and her heart was pounding as she kept watching. The man in the video was a complete stranger to her. What was he doing in the house? She watched as he kept walking around the crib, examining Lily. Heather began to panic. Who could this man be? It was clear that this man was the source of the strange noises she heard at night. Heather kept watching the clip over and over until she saw something terrifying. There was a point in the middle where the man becomes transparent. Heather realized that she wasn't looking at a man, but something supernatural. Heather knew immediately that they had to get away from that house as fast as they can. When Joshua watched the footage, he was just as shocked. It was chilling. It was literally a chill down your spine like that what-if factor. Is this what I just saw? He said. 
Seeing Lily's face with her scratches was so bizarre and frightening, Heather explained. I was crying. What happened to you? I grabbed her jacket and ran over to my mother-in-law's house. Nobody knew what happened. We wonder if she'd scratched herself, but when we put her hands up to the scratches, it didn't match up. Joshua was terrified after watching the video. With chills running up and down his spine, he knew that he needed to save his family from whatever that was. Getting away from there was the most important thing. As the terrified family fled the house, Joshua called the police. After he had explained the situation, the police referred him to the Scientific Paranormal Investigations of Michigan. What they would find, however, would be even more terrifying. The co-owner of Scientific Paranormal Investigations of Michigan, Mike Priest, sent a team to investigate the house immediately. Their discoveries would ensure that Heather and Joshua were even more desperate to get away from that house. The investigation revealed that not only was the guest house haunted, but the main house was too. The strange man on the footage wasn't the only strange thing that happened in the house. I woke up to get ready for work one morning and it felt like someone was choking me, Heather admitted during an interview. It shook me to the point where I decided to buy our camera. She never told Joshua because she didn't think he would have believed her. There have been times when me and my fiance would wake up in the morning and I would hear an angry male voice, like someone had just stubbed their toe, she said. I definitely believe there's something going on at this house, Mike Priest said. We're looking forward to checking out this one as well. Mike said that when the team came in, they recorded several strange noises in the house. We heard something say, oh, here we go, oh yeah. I heard it plain as day, Mike admitted. Mike and his team came back for a full-scale investigation. They hoped that they'd be able to find out what exactly Heather had caught on video. They were going to try and replicate the recording, which would prove it's real, or find some logical explanation for what she captured. Chris, Joshua's mother, had owned the house for 11 years and thought she might be able to explain who was responsible for the haunting. I was told when we bought the houses 11 years ago, the lady who owned the property died in the main house, Chris explained. It's an old farmhouse and, according to her niece, she fell down the stairs, broke her hips, and laid there for a very long time before she passed away. She said that the guest house was built for the lady's brother, who was schizophrenic. However, Joshua's dad, Jim, offered a different theory. Jim thinks that the mysterious figure is a previous tenant of the guest house. The gentleman that lived here originally jumped out this window, which is one story down, he told WXYZ TV in Detroit. While they might not be any closer to finding out who the mysterious figure is, Heather and Joshua knew what they have to do. It scares us that it could do something else, Heather said. It's not physically just going after her. It feels like it's going after myself, too. This has made us want to leave as soon as possible. As soon as possible, we're out of here. This is a spirit. I don't know what its intentions are, but at this point, it's becoming physically harmful. Although the video released by Heather and Joshua on social media has become a viral sensation overnight, it's chilled many viewers to the bone. There are also some skeptics. Some people don't believe that the figure in the video is an apparition at all and say that what was captured on film is far more likely to have a very simple explanation. Kenny Biddle of the Skeptical Inquirer wrote, There's something else I noticed right away. The ghost was casting a shadow. Two, actually. This tells me the figure is a solid, physical object able to reflect light. In the first milliseconds of the video, as the figure is moving to the left, you can see its shadow move across the ceiling right by the ceiling fan. He continues, I would surmise either Heather and or Joshua had been watching television and had reason to get up out of bed, perhaps go down to the kitchen for a drink and food and to visit the bathroom, pause the video and walked across the room not realize they were being recorded. At a later unspecified time, they reviewed the footage and, due to a lack of understanding of video cameras, concluded the distorted figure was a ghost. But how does it explain the scratches on Lily's face? Aside from the technical issues, it's not uncommon for babies to scratch themselves. We know from her statements that Heather discovered the scratches after waking the baby up from a nap, Kenny wrote, but there's nothing to rule out the possibility Lily scratched herself while sleeping. After digging a little deeper into the story, Kenny discovered something interesting. I'm not sure exactly what the motivation behind these claims is, but I do have my suspicions, he wrote. I went to Heather Bro's Facebook page earlier today and noticed that she posted her first public post since November of 2018. It was a link to a GoFundMe account she'd created that day, March 26, 2019, with a goal of $5,000.
She was asking for this amount to help her move out of the guest house, citing her daughter's safety from all the paranormal activity as the main reason for the fundraising. Then Kenny reached out to Heather directly with a Facebook message. Hello, my name is Kenny Biddle and I've been investigating paranormal claims for the past 20 years. Your video of what is believed to be a ghost walking in your house was brought to my attention by several paranormal groups, Kenny wrote. After taking a look at it, I wondered if there was a longer clip, perhaps footage showing the minutes leading up to and including the clip that was shared on ABC Action News. The clip that had been shared starts with a figure already in motion, and I was hoping to see where it originates. I noticed the TV was on, so being able to confirm it wasn't someone living watching TV and perhaps got up to get something would be beneficial. I'm not saying this was a hoax, I'm just trying to get as much information as possible to understand what the video is showing. I appreciate your time in reading this. I hope to hear back from you. Have a good day. Kenny says that he's still waiting for Heather's response.